Howdy everybody, this is Bake with NironThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about Continental Domination, which uh, is my favorite event in the game, and uh, I know a lot of other people like it a whole lot. Timer got reduced to 90 minutes though, so you need to be good at it, and you need to know what's going on. First things first, see that little timer right there above number 10? That thing means it's an armistice status, that lasts 10 minutes. And with the reduction to 90 minutes, that's a big deal. So you saw that I uh, declared an attack on it immediately. And then there's a big thing. Uh, towards the later parts of Continental Domination, you're going to have a lot of people trying to get into battles, uh, depending on how many people you absorb or if you got absorbed by a large team. So what you want to do when you're joining a battle in Continental Domination is you want to hit Participate, you want to auto-select your troops, and then you want to hit Participate again. And that gets you in in two seconds, as opposed to taking a long time if you're trying to set your troops. After you do that, you go in, you set the actual troops you want. But that brings me to uh, the most frequently asked question about Domination that I get. What troops should I bring? The answer is you want Siege. You also want all the other troops too, obviously. You can bring 5 million, so you need to bring 5 million or highest tier. What I usually do is I do 1.5 million of each of the troop types, and then I do 500,000 Siege. And this is a big battle, so it's going to be laggy, but I'll show you why I bring Siege. And this is frequently overlooked by everybody. And so a lot of people get frustrated with Domination, um, specifically uh, when they're fighting against larger players and everything like that because uh, it you know kind of feels like you're fighting a very uphill battle, which you are if you're fighting up against uh, big players. So you see in this game, we actually got all of our bigs into it. I fast-forwarded to uh, the two-minute mark whenever the AC shield fell. And this is why you want to send Siege. So this is one of the 100 versus 100 tiles. Number one, I didn't boost for it. That's a noob move. You want to pop your boosts because you don't want to go into this 100 v 100 and be limited by March size. But look what I'm doing. I'm setting a rally on their AC, and I sent all my siege at it along with some troops. And now I'm going to solo it as well. But what I'm showing here is I have, you know, some of the best gear on the team. There are other people like uh, Tess is in this game as well, Dizzle's in this game. So we actually had all of our bigs in this game because it was right at the start. It was a 100v100 tile, so we figured it was going to be a, a slugfest. But what I'm doing is I set a rally with siege and troops, and then everybody else filled my rally. Now, siege hits ACs incredibly hard. If you couple that with the 1,000% boost from Sanctuaries, you can do some serious damage to an AC even if they have it reinforced. So you see up in the top left there, they have one Sanctuary, we have two Sanctuaries. Because of that, I have a 2,000% attack boost, which means my Siege can penetrate on their AC. That's a big deal. So you see my Rally here, it's going off, and because there's Siege, and look how hard it hits, 79.9, they got it reinforced, my Rally hits. This is a 100v100 tile, so it's lagging like hell. These 100 v 100s you'll see in a later one as well, but it hit for 13% there. On a 100 v 100 tile, that's a lot. It's only going to take a few rallies. I fast forward, that was all the rest of the game was, was just setting rallies on the AC with Siege, getting filled, and you see how many points I got just from reinforcing our AC and rallying theirs. So come out, and you know this is what the screen looks like. Immediately get into another game. Actually, I think I cut to this next game. And this one you see 1 versus 17. Obviously, my account's extremely huge. Uh, it is what it is. Spasm is their biggest player, though. Spasm is incredibly solid, but Spasm's only 10 bill. So this is one of the problems if you absorb a lot of people right off the bat, is you can't get the specific people that you need into these games. And BZK ran into that a lot this time around, and uh, I know that they did. But because of this, even though it's me versus everybody, uh, this is a 20v20 tile, and I'm alone in it. What I'm doing now, it's a, it's just a process here. I know that Spasm is their biggest player. I know he's got good gear, but I know it's on his guard captain. And I know that if he does want to burn me, if my troops are home, he's going to have to send a rally. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have these sanctuaries. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm carefully selecting which heroes I send to these sanctuaries, because I know that I'm going to be very limited by troops and limited by march size. But I also know that due to my size and everybody I'm fighting size, I'm probably going to be able to win most of the heads-up battles. Um, it's just going to be a fact of, am I going to get too spread out? Because it's me versus 20 other people, or 19 or something like that. So you saw as soon as a spot opened up next to their AC, what I did is I ported to it, and then I hit both the sanctuaries with a little bit of troops, and I left them in there. That way they can't one-troop the sanctuary back. So you see those people sitting around the sanctuary, what they're doing is they're scouting it, or they're sitting there and waiting for me to pull my troops. So what I did is I looked at the top sanctuary, saw that there were people around it, looked at the bottom sanctuary, and saw there was nobody around it, so I pulled my troops. And now I'm sending 66k back to that sanctuary, no hero, just so they can't one-troop it. But now they're on our AC. 
And so in order to combat that, what I'm going to do is from the other side of the map, I'm going to reinforce it using one of my majestic heroes and my archers. So now I've got both the sanctuaries and I've got our AC reinforced. So I've got a 2000% attack boost in addition to having our AC reinforced. So I know the only way they're going to be able to get through that AC is if they rally, but they're sitting next to me. So now what do I do? I start hitting their AC with my siege and you see that it took 20% off in one hit. Um, I'm max marching though because I want to get this down as quickly as possible because right now we're in a call and everybody's yelling at me to get to the next tile. But look at them, they're burning me down. They caught on to my tactics here, so they're about to burn me out. Can't have that happen, so now what I'm going to do, start sending half marches of siege, keep some troops home, because I know that that small amount of siege, because of my size and my research and everything else like that, I'll be good against solos. And you notice that they haven't set a rally at all. There are no rallies going off on our AC. There's no rallies going off on me. If they had set a rally on our AC, they'd probably win, and they'd probably do some damage to it. Uh, they probably wouldn't win against, they might win against me because I've, you know, got such a small amount of troops home. But you saw, I started getting burned out, so I got scared there. That was them scaring me. And I pulled up, pulled some troops home, and now what I'm doing is I'm just sending half of each, and I'm keeping the other ones at home. Because I know that, see, they're, ju they're just kind of, no offense to anybody that's in this game, they're just kind of face-pounding into me and soloing me, hoping that I send all my troops. Uh, what they needed to be doing here is they needed to be rallying our AC, and or rallying me, and seeing if they can get more burns off because now I can just slowly plink away at their AC because I've got those boosts. They haven't taken the sanctuaries back, so I'm sitting at 2,000% attack. Those sanctuaries are enormous, and you'll see that in a couple other videos. So I'm going to speed it up because this is a kind of a foregone conclusion here. They're just uh, face-pounding into me, and I haven't, uh, nobody set a rally or anything. So 1v19, see Spasm catches on, and he takes the sanctuary, but at this point it's too late. He's not going to have time to cap it. He's not going to have time to get that boost. If they had fought hard for the sanctuaries there, it would have spread me out way too much. I wouldn't have been able to hold both the sanctuaries and keep our AC reinforced and still hit their AC. Um, and this applies to when you're, you know, not alone either. Not obviously, not everybody is the size of uh, my account there, so they can't really sit there safely and not get burned with half their troops home. But the thing is, if you have those sanctuaries, a lot of people can. And so even if you're going up against bigger players, one thing people don't know about the sanctuaries is that. The person that holds the sanctuary is whoever has more troops in it at the end. So you can lose the battle. Like I sent 66,000 troops to that sanctuary there. If one of their people had soloed me with 500,000 troops and they had more than 66,000 remaining, which they would because the maximum amount I could kill on a 500,000 march would be 400,000 because of the 20% rule, they would have taken that sanctuary from me. So they could have done that. They could have gotten rid of that 2,000% attack boost off of me. They could have gotten a 2,000% attack percent attack boost for them and then they could have rallied our AC and actually done some damage there or they could have rallied me and forced me to keep more troops home so just because somebody is huge doesn't mean there aren't things you can't do like if it's a hundred behind hundred tile and there's 40 of you going off you guys need to communicate you need to talk you need to talk on uh, on call and you need to say who's holding the sanctuaries who's tagging the sanctuaries who's rallying the AC who's gonna hit their big guys the more you communicate the easier domination is. If you don't communicate, you can't go in and just face pound and win. It's not going to work. You got to talk. And so you also need to be aware of that whenever you're absorbing people in the beginning. You need to make sure you don't pick up a whole bunch of dum dumps and everything else like this. So here's another one BZK against uh, me and a couple others is 3 versus 16. This is also a, a larger tile. And so every game, what I do is I pour it over and I hit the biggest guy right off the bat. Uh, just get the points, see if he burns. Kind of gives me a gauge of how it is. And you see, this is when BZK is still running into the problems of not being able to get their bigs into games. And so we were very careful about getting our bigs into specific games and making sure that we always had big players available, spreading them out. Um, very rarely did our biggest players play all in the same uh, game, unless it was like an incredibly important tile. So you see here, same thing. I port next to their AC. They're holding both of the sanctuaries. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a small amount of troops to each one and see if I can take it. I take both of them. That means they don't reinforce because 90% of the time when somebody takes a re uh, sanctuary, they don't reinforce it. They pull their troops because if you're reinforcing a sanctuary, you're sitting there doing nothing and you're in danger of getting burned. So the shield hasn't dropped on the AC yet. 10 seconds left. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did the last time, which is I'm going to reinforce our AC. I've got the 2000% boost from uh, both the sanctuaries and now I'm going to start popping their AC. And you see nobody's around it. I don't even know if they have it reinforced or not. They do. I got some kills there. But 20% damage done to it. 
And this is the same thing. It's methodical. You see somebody's marching on me now, so I speed home real quick to uh, not get burned there. And uh, I'm going to start keeping some troops home because I don't want to get burned out like I did last time. But holding both sanctuaries, reinforcing our AC, 2,000% extra attack on top of all my gear, and just slamming their AC with Siege. And you see how Siege is hitting so hard. <laughs> you see Was 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 just getting gangbanged over in the corner, <laughs> so I was telling him to hold strong there. He did good, though. Look at it. He scored 78 million points, so he did really well. But you see how quickly their AC goes down when they don't have it reinforced, and I'm crushing it with Siege. And that's why I always tell people, Q Siege. Nobody thinks to bring Siege. But if you bring Siege, you fill a rally with Siege, you're going to blow up an AC. Um, most people don't. But if you have those sanctuaries and you set a rally on an AC with Siege, and then other people fill it with Siege, you're going to penetrate and you're going to blow it up. And even if they've got it reinforced, everything else like that, worry about those sanctuaries, worry about the AC. Points mean nothing. Uh, kills on players mean nothing, especially in these big, big, big battles. Look how many people there are. Do you think we're going to be able to burn all those people out? Hell no, we're not going to be able to. So we need to focus on uh, hitting ACs. Obviously, I teleport over and hit Melika first thing first because uh, she was absorbed by the other team, so I'm going to go say hi to her. But now you see how they're all stacked up around our IC, and we're going to go stack up around their AC as well. Uh, Bob is a huge account, but he had Tier 7, so he's giving a lot of points when he had troops out. So we're going to hit him as many times as possible and try to get as many points as possible. But as the AC comes available in, here in uh, 10 seconds, here is when the AC is going to open up. And so what you're going to see is the same thing. Even though it's a way bigger tile, there's a lot of way bigger players in this game. I'm going to go over, I'm going to go next to their AC, and I'm going to start hitting it. Um, I don't, yeah, I did set a rally here. So you see, I set a rally with my siege and with my infantry, and that's that. And they've got two sanctuaries, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit these sanctuaries as well. At this point, nobody's thinking to hit me. They don't realize that I'm all inning with all my marches here. And I'm just going to rally this AC down because it's a 100 v 100 tile. So even though we're up against really strong players... And they've got the AC reinforced. If you saw when I targeted our AC, we've got our AC reinforced as well because they're going for it. And now rallies start hitting the AC, start doing some damage to it, and we need to worry about those sanctuaries. And so you see LSU girl there starts taking over sanctuaries because that's why our rallies aren't hitting very hard. We're not penetrating very much. We need to make sure that we have those 1,000% boosts. Uh, in the 10v10 tile, you can get 1,000% off of one sanctuary. In the 20v20, you can get 2,000% off of two sanctuaries. And in the 100v100, you can get 3,000% if you hold all three sanctuaries. So you see now we're holding two sanctuaries up in the top left. They've got one. And so at this point, we're just going to face pound into that AC, take it down as quickly as possible, because the vast majority of us now can do damage to that AC because we are able to hit it so hard because of the sanctuary status. So you see it's just 5% at a time, plink, 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 all the way down. And they can't do damage to our AC because we've all got it reinforced and we've all got those attack boosts. And that's why you want to focus on these sanctuaries, and you want to focus on the actual mechanics of what wins in domination. You don't want to worry about burning people out. You don't want to worry about, you know, sometimes you do want to worry about burning people out. If you're in a 10v10, or if you're going up against me, and I'm hitting your AC over and over again, you know, start hitting me. Or start hitting whoever it is that's hitting your AC. Make sure you punish them if they are getting too aggressive. Because I get incredibly aggressive because everybody sees the size and just assumes, ah, well, we can't burn him. A lot of times you can and that is a uh, big catch there, and that is how we, in past dominations, have won some fights because the big players we're going up against are so busy just rabidly trying to kill the smaller players that I'm backdooring them and I'm burning them, and it's very similar to Alliance Deathmatch in that manner. But the bottom line is, just like Alliance Deathmatch and just like everything else in the top tier of uh, events in this game, you need to communicate and you need to understand what the actual objective of the game is. Um, it's not always killing people um, that you know always helps, but a lot of times there are things you can do that will make you able to pull off a victory when it doesn't seem like you should be able to pull off a victory. You know, when it's one v twenty, when it's five v twenty, when it's twenty v one hundred, you can still pull off some wins if you play it correctly and you know the mechanics behind how it works. Um, again, nobody ever hits with siege except for me. It feels like so. Get on that. Start bringing siege. Start setting rallies on things because a rally with all those extra troops will do so much more damage. The way that damage done to an Alliance city is calculated is based off of your actual troop capacity, which means how many resources you can carry. So the more troops you have, the more troop capacity you have, which means the more damage you do to an AC. 
It's not calculated like damage does uh, against bases or against troops or anything like that. If there are troops in the AC, then you do have to do a good deal of damage to those troops in order to get the damage done. But you don't always have to win the fight, is what I've noticed. I don't know the mechanics behind that. I haven't figured that out yet. But there are times that I will hit an AC, I will lose the battle, but I'll still do damage to the AC. And I assume that's because I didn't get a great uh, defeat or great, you know, whatever. I'm not, I'm not really sure what how it works behind it. But you see here now, they've got both sanctuaries. So I teleport next to their AC and I start taking over the sanctuaries. And you see they're um, all over our AC. And I haven't gotten it reinforced yet because I was slow this game and I'm a dum-dum. So now I'm going to stick uh, my infantry in there with the hero. I'm going to send it and I'm going to stick one other march in there as well. And I need to make sure I get these sanctuaries because that's why they're doing damage to me. That's why they're doing damage to our AC. You see our AC is all the way down to 66.9%. So they knew what the hell they were doing right there. And I need to at least take one sanctuary so that the thousand percent boosts even each other out and my gear and my research comes into play. You see, I got burned right there because I max marched. So they had caught on a little bit to my tactics, but now I've got my troops in there. They're not able to penetrate anymore because they've only got the one sanctuary boost and then uh, take the other sanctuary from them or they take the sanctuary from me. They're trying to get it back. But at this point, their AC is down to 60%. They don't have it reinforced enough. They've got both boosts up. I've got troops home. But if they were rallying our AC at this point with both of their with them holding both sanctuaries, they'd have been doing damage to it. And you see how I'm only doing actually I hit it for 20%, so I'm hitting it pretty well there. But I've got to keep troops home because they are marching at me and they're burning me whenever I have troops out. So you see, I'm just uh, sending all those siege and letting the gear do the work. They don't have it reinforced enough for them to be able to get through. But this goes to show yet again, uh, lower. Number of players, higher power, let the gear do the work, and then they've got sanctuaries, but I've still managed to burn it, and then I max march for the last one for the kill shot there. But with those sanctuary boosts, if they'd been rallying our AC using siege, they probably would have been doing damage to it. So right into the next, this is another fight against BZK. Uh, you see I got 1 million troops, which means it's 20 v 20, and I believe this one was just me and Darkly, and their largest player was Chaibar, who is uh, pretty big. I'm not sure if I said his name right, but uh, that is that. So right off the bat, we know how this fight's going to go. I teleport next to their AC. I go over to my AC, check it out. You see that I'm uh, darkly went over there and <laughs> got gangbanged. So I zoomed in on him several times because uh, I was laughing at him on call. He was yelling at me on call like, they're killing me. They, you know, they had 27 people on him. But what I'm going to do at this point is I look at both those sanctuaries. The shield's not down yet. There's 35 seconds left on the... Uh, Alliance City Shield, so I'm going to hit Chibar actually and try to get some points, because at this point I was trying to catch up so I get that cool Dragon Castle skin. And I did. But now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to hit these ACs, get that 1000% boost off of them, and so I just send a very small amount of troops, because like I said, most people hit that uh, sanctuary and then they pull their troops. So you saw I sent five at each one of those sanctuaries, that's it. And then I send nearly all of my archers, uh, or about two-thirds of my archers, over there with my archer hero and get it into our AC. And the reason for that was because there were so many of them at it. You see, they did, uh, they started doing damage to it, but my troops got in there in time. I've got the sanctuary buff. They actually hit the other, uh, I hit the other sanctuary, and so they have no sanctuary buffs. And now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this AC down as quickly as possible. And I'm max marching, and they haven't caught on. They're not speeding in. Now they caught it on, and they, they ding me for two there. But what I was doing is I was max marching right there because they weren't speeding those troops in. Now they've caught on, and I'm sure they're on a call, or they're ta talking in AC or whatever, and they're saying he's sending all his troops, so I have to stop sending all my troops. But the important part, again, Sanctuary, Siege at the AC, knowing the mechanics of the game and how it works, and knowing that that Sanctuary boost is going to be enough to allow me to hold that. And so in these 10v10, 20v20 tiles, get your AC reinforced, no matter where you are. Um, if you're porting around, get your AC reinforced. It's incredibly important. Fill a rally on their AC, take it down, win domination. So hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, give me a follow, leave me a comment if you uh, have any recommendations. Thanks for watching everybody.